direct communication between minds is impossible, not only physically, but psychologically. But psychologically, communication can be achieved only in a roundabout way. We must pass past through meanings, meanings than through words. Great, thank you. So I always like to check, first of all, was that easy to read or a little bit difficult? Um, a little bit difficult. I, I thought so. It's college level reading. So since you're probably not yet in college, it's probably more difficult than what you usually read. Is that accurate? Yeah. Okay. So I also like to think of between a perf so suppose we said 100% understanding is you understand every word, every phrase, every sentence, everything. 0% understanding is you're not even sure what language it's in. Maybe it's in Polish or Swahili or Mandarin, you have no idea. So I expect since you know it's in English, you're above 0% understanding, but you're probably not at 100% understanding. So what percent would you say you understand that right now? Um, ten. Ten percent? Yes. Okay, terrific. Well, one way I often like to work, work through difficult material, this is even as a grown-up, is I read it very slowly piece by piece. So let's start with the first phrase. Direct communication between minds is impossible. What do you think that means? Um, you can't read each other's minds. Okay, that's a good hypothesis. I, always, I often, when I'm reading something difficult, I like to kind of think of a hypothesis. So we can't read each other's minds. That's your hypothesis. The next yeah. clause is not only physically, but psychologically. Do we have any idea what, um, what he means by that? No. Okay, fair enough. Sometimes if you're not sure, I, I also like to figure out what I can figure out and then leave for later the things I'm not sure of. So let's just acknowledge we're not sure about that clause and maybe we can come back to it. Let's try the next sentence. Communication can be achieved only in a roundabout way. What do you think that means? Um, it has to be a two-way conversation. Okay. You want to say why you think that means it has to be a two-way conversation? Um, I don't know. Okay, no problem. Again, it's great to have hypotheses. When we're uncertain, we, we again, you know what a hypothesis is, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and usually we talk about hypotheses in science, but also I think of a, we have hypotheses when we're reading. So then we've got the last sentence. Thought must pass first through meanings and then through words. What do you think that means? Um, I don't know. Okay. Um, you know what thought is, right? Mm -hmm. So thought must pass first through meanings. What are meanings? Um. like understanding okay and then through words would you say words and meanings are identical or there's a distinction can we think of a distinction between words and meanings um um i don't understand no problem, no problem at all. Um, so let maybe let's have an example. Um, well, thought, T-H-O-U-G-H-T, the word thought is a word, correct? Yeah. Would you say the word T-H-O-U-G-H-T is the same as what it means? Um, yeah. So those um, seven letters, and what is a thought? It's something that you think. Okay. So those seven letters are the same thing that are, is, happens to be going on inside your head? Yeah. Okay. So if I say a dog, a dog is going inside your head? Um, 
No. Okay. So what's, so a dog is a thing in the world, right? Yeah. Is the word D-O-G the same as the dog? Um, no. Okay. When you think of a dog, is that the same as either the dog and the word or the letters D-O-G? No. Okay. So maybe, what if we were to say that um, we can try it with other things, but with the dog, there's that thing out there that wags its tail and so forth, the dog. There's the word or the three letters D-O-G. And then inside your mind, you have some either sense of a dog or memory of a dog or picture of a dog or something like that. Does that sound right? Yeah. Um, so let's, let's try that last sentence again. Thought must pass first through meanings and then through words. Do you have any better idea of what it might mean? No. Okay. Um, so if we say dog, dog is a word, right? Yeah. Is the image of a dog in your head the same as that word? Um, no. So could we say the, is the image in your head a meaning or, or an understanding or a, what's the image in your head when we say dog? What is it? Would you say it's a meaning or is it something else? Or something picture? else. Okay. So is, is meaning, is the word meaning, does that refer to the thing in your head or to the letters on a page or something else? Um, something else. Can you say what it, what it is? What is meaning? Understanding. Okay. And is that, is understanding either the word on the page or the thing out there or the picture in your head? That's the picture in my head. Okay. If that's the case, thought must pass first through meanings and then through words. Let's reread it as understanding. Thought must pass first through understanding and then through words. What is mm -hmm. that? Does that make any sense? No. Okay. This is really hard. Again, it's college level. Sometimes it's useful to get the whole chunk all at once. So I'll read it, um, the whole chunk, and see if we can understand it. Direct communication between minds is impossible, not only physically, but psychologically. Communication can be achieved only in a roundabout way. Thought must pass first through meanings and then through words. Does the whole thing make any sense or not at all? It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Well, what would you, do you think that you just have to wait till you go to college to make sense of this kind of stuff? Or what, what strategy would you use to try to figure it out? Suppose it's a puzzle. How can you um, figure out puzzles? Do I have to go to college? You don't have to go to college, but it's useful to be able to read um, difficult material. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. Um, is this too difficult for you right now? Um, no. So what, what, if this was a puzzle, and think of it as a puzzle, this is a puzzle. Do you like to solve puzzles? Yeah, it's cool. Okay, so if we think of this as a puzzle, how would you go about solving this puzzle? Um, I don't understand. So, uh, with a puzzle, like a puzzle pieces, like a puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle, when you look at a little piece, you can't, sometimes you don't even know where it goes. Sometimes you do, but sometimes you don't. Is that fair enough? Yeah. So here we've got, you can think of each word and each sentence as like a puzzle piece. And, you know, some of the words, I think you know the word, you know the word word, you know the word um, thought, 
you know, would you say you know at least half of the words in this paragraph? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so if we know half the words, but you don't know the other half, is there a way to solve a puzzle like that? Um, yeah. How? Go into the dictionary and find out the word. Perfect, perfect. That's great. I could also help you. Are there specific words you'd like to ask the meaning of? Yes. Personification. Personification? Mm hmm I don't see that. I'm happy to tell you what that means, but is that word in that paragraph? I don't see it. No? I don't know what that means. So personification is to personify something means to make something into a person. So say if there was a, a dog you liked, we could make it into a person. If there was even a table or a car you liked, we could make it into a person. So personify is to make something like a person. Does that make sense? Yeah. But that seems unrelated to the, that parag this paragraph. Fair enough? Yeah. OK. Um, I don't know what psychologic, psychologic, psychologically, yeah. yeah. No problem, no problem. Have you ever heard of psychology? Um, yeah. What do you think psychology means? Brain. Kind of. I would say psychology is the study of the the study of human beings and how they behave and think. So, you know, it's the brain. When I think of studying the brain, I think of like um, surgery and actually looking at all the brain cells and everything. Psychology is more about how human beings act. And of course, I think we believe that the brain is a very large factor in how we act, but not the only factor. Um, does that make sense as psychology, kind of the study of, of human behavior? Yeah. So, in which case, does that help you with psychologically? Yeah. How so? Mm, it tells me what it means. Okay. So let's go. Uh, direct communication between minds is impossible, not only physically, but psychologically. What distinction is being made here between physical and psychological? Um. I don't know. Okay. Do you think that it would be easier if uh, you had Alana here working alongside you, the two of you together figuring it out? Yeah. Okay. In which case, because this is difficult, and this is the first time I've given you something this difficult, but I like to challenge your mind. Does it make sense that it's good to challenge your mind? Yeah. Okay. How about we um, take a break, because I think you've worked hard enough for now. And bit by bit, we will help you to learn how to read really difficult material. What if I said that maybe in a year you could read college level material? Do you think that's possible? Yeah. Okay. How about just high school level material? Would you rather master high school level? No. No? Between college and university. Okay. All right, in which case we will start Go ahead. What were you going to say? I can't hear you. Say it more. What's the, what's the difference between college and university? No, great question. Great question. To some extent, they're different words for the same thing. In general, universities tend to have graduate programs. So college is the typically refers to the undergraduate program, the first four years after high school. And the uni university also includes graduate programs. So university is kind of a bigger, more comprehensive thing than a college. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But they're largely the same. It's just university is kind of bigger and has more. Tom, how come in Cambridge, there's a Cambridge University and it's separated in colleges with like King's College and stuff? No, that's a great question. So historically, each of those were their own community of learners. And 
over time, then these different communities of learners all became part of what's known as the university. And uni universe is kind of the whole thing. And so one way to think of it is colleges are specific things and then universe or university is the big thing. So all the, all the little colleges together plus their graduate schools is the university. Does that make sense? Oh, so it's like planets in the universe. A little, little bit, or maybe planets in the solar system, but yeah. Yeah, like the parts of a whole, for sure, for sure. Okay. Um, so I want to keep these relatively short. So thank you so much for thinking with me. And we will keep you learning to work, read difficult material. Yes, one more question. Um, when do you end, you know, so when do you end your Easter break? When is our Easter break over? Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's over for most, most schools now. Is your Easter break just ending? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to take off. Bye-bye.